Farragut High School, where the Sevier County Smoky Bears take on the Farragut High School Admirals. And uh, Jim, Farragut are always a, a traditional power and uh, a tough, tough team. Well, Max, they're uh, two and five right now, but they're probably one of the best two and five teams in the state, I guess. Uh, they played some uh, real tough opponents there and then had some hard luck. Uh, I tell you what, Sevier County will have their hands full tonight to even be able to compete with them. Uh, Farragut uh, coming in here looking at this school. It's a, it's a big school with a big middle school right next to it. Uh, so I, I think Sevier County is going to have their hands full to uh, be even compete with them tonight. Uh, it's going to be a kind of a mess to win again. But Sevier County, they need to win tonight. And hopefully they can uh, come through here with a victory. Uh, well, you know, Farragut uh, has a, a record uh, so far this year that uh, is a little bit disappointing for them. They're two and five. Now, the teams they have defeated, uh, Bearden High School and McGavick. They, they lost to Austin East. They lost to Clinton, Doyle, Oak Ridge, and Carter. But, Jim, when you look at the teams they lost, teams like Carter and Doyle and uh, the Austin East Roadrunners, uh, every team they've lost to is really an outstanding team. Mike, those teams will probably stay out, uh, stay play off bounds. So that uh, kind of tells you what kind of schedule they play. Uh, they're just a good test team. Uh, they played a good, tough Austin East team, which I think can beat most triple or uh, triple A teams there. So uh, I tell you what, they played a tough schedule. Okay, and uh, Sevier County, the uh, first team quarterback for Sevier County, apparently is extremely questionable tonight. Donnie Tweed may not start, and as a matter of fact, in the starting lineup, uh, Coach Riddick has uh, has named Jimbo Whaley as the starting quarterback tonight for the Smoky Bears. Mike, uh, I, I didn't get. I talked to Coach Fitz today, but I did talk to uh, Jimbo Whaley's dad, Jim Whaley, and uh, he told me that he didn't even think that uh, Donnie Tweet would even dress tonight. So uh, they're going with Jimbo, it looks like, and uh, I think they've got Alan Lloyd in case, or Alan Lloyd in case something uh, was to happen to Jimbo, and he's not had any, really any experience at all, so uh, the Bear County hurt him tonight here at quarterback. Okay, we'll be back to uh, talk to the Sevier County team trainer, uh, Laurie Duvall. We'll do that coming up in uh, 60 seconds. You're listening to Smokey Bear Football, and we'll be back with an interview. Back here with Dick. 